My name is uh, Alessandro Porro, I'm 39 and I've, I've been on the Aquarius for 27 weeks uh, in uh, one year more or less of mission. So I did the four different mission uh, as a rescuer on the ship. Well, not being in the sea at this moment is frustrating. We know there is still people trying to cross the Mediterranean. Mediterranean is still a dangerous place. Uh, it's uh, one of the most dangerous borders we have in the world. And we are rescuers. We know how to do the work. This is a technical and then humanitarian work. And uh, we are stopped to be, uh, to be on dry on, on land. What we do is try to, uh, to go to the school, uh, to go to the university, to speak uh, with people, to tell our story, um, to, to present the reality of the rescue in the sea, which is uh, not very well known. I was uh, on board uh, during the very last rescue we did in September 2018. We had two different rescues in two days. Uh, the, the, the point on that is that we, we was uh, alone in the Mediterranean uh, without coordination, without receiving information on the distress, without receiving coordination with the other assets. And when we try to communicate with the Libyan Coast Guard, we simply did not receive uh, information and instruction. Uh, so we had to perform the rescue alone by ourselves and then the, we have been asked to return the people to the, uh, to the Libyan's uh, patrol boat and uh, we could not do that because it would be uh, violating the Geneva International Convention on Refugees. I've seen in the last few years uh, the public opinion changing a lot uh, on the uh, activity is in the Mediterranean. Uh, it seems that uh, NGOs now are evil. Uh, it's really a bad word, something you cannot uh, say, it's like an accusation. Uh, we are rescuers, we are humanitarians, uh, we have been perceived as heroes. But we are not heroes and we are not criminals. We are just people that is complying to the laws, to the maritime laws, and we are doing what is needed, that is rescuing people.